this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this amazing brick screen inside of Revit. We're going to be creating it in a smart way, so it's going to be fully parametric and adjustable. Let's go. Now we're going to be creating this as a new curtain wall family type. Uh, and I'm first going to be showing you how to create an actual curtain panel, which is going to include a couple of bricks and then how to bring that inside of Revit and assemble it as a brick screen wall. Uh, now, before we jump into Revit, I would just quickly like to ask you to check out my website, balkanarctic.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. Uh, if you're interested interested in learning Revit and if you're serious about learning Revit, well, that's definitely the place to be. I have over 140 hours of content. Now also there you can find some of my ready to go Revit templates. You can find some really high quality Revit families and we also have a plugin which might interest you too. Okay, so now without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit and what I'm going to do first is go from the project environment into a family uh, in editor. So let's go here to new and then to family. And as I said, we're going to be creating that curtain uh, panel family first. Now I'm going to choose English metric. Feel free to use Imperial if you want. Now I'm just going to choose the curtain wall uh, panel uh, uh, template and then hit open. Now, as soon as that opens up here, what I'm going to do is go to exterior and this is where we are. So I like to bring these in a little bit just because it's a bit too wide. And then I'm going to bring this all the way down to actually 120 millimeters. Now this is going to be the height of two bricks that we're going to be creating. Okay, so I was thinking, how can we create this in a smart way where we don't actually stretch the brick because, well, in real life, you can't really stretch a brick. Uh, and uh, the solution that I found was to add an additional uh, reference plane here in between these two. So these two are set uh, with EQ or equalized dimensions. And then what you can do is you can go here to create, go to reference plane and then place one reference plane here and one here. Hit the escape key a few times. Uh, then I'm going to go here to align the dimension or the I for the shortcut. And then you can place one here, hit EQ, place one here, and then also hit EQ. Where is it? Here, here we go. And now when we stretch this, see how the middle one uh, or the middle ones are always going to stay kind of on the center in between here. So we're kind of getting equal distances in between all of these. And that's what we want to have. Okay, so once we have that in place, now it's time to actually model the bricks. So for the bricks, I'm just going to go here to create and then go to solid extrusion. I'm going to go to rectangle and then just start here from the bottom and create a rectangle like this. Hit the escape key a few times. And now these lines might be a bit too thick. So you can either adjust the scale or in this case, I'm just going to go here to thin lines and toggle those on. Okay, so here first I'm going to uh, make sure that the height is set to 60 millimeters because this is kind of the default or kind of a most common brick, at least in my area, uh, the, 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 the height of the brick is 60 millimeters. Uh, the length of the brick is 250. So what I'll do here is I'm just going to go here to align the dimension. Uh, and then uh, I'm just going to actually let's go from the center and then go out to one and the other side, place it here and then hit EQ to equalize that. Then you make sure you go to just one side and here also I like to go from the center to the side and place it here. Okay, so once we have that in place, select the side and then here you can set the uh, distance which will be 250 which is the total length divided by two which gives us 125 millimeters. Okay, so once we have that in place, I'm just going to select this dimension and lock it in place, which will just ensure that the uh, brick always stays at those dimensions. You can also create this dimension here and then lock that in place just to make sure that the height 
is always set to 60. Uh, finally, we have to address the extrusion start and end. So in this case, uh, the bricks are 120 millimeters wide. So here for the extrusion start, I'm just going to type in 60 millimeters, or sorry, the end, and then the start will be minus 60, giving us a total of 120 millimeters. Then I'm just going to hit finish. And also, I like to check this in the default 3D view just to see what that looks like. And I think we have the correct uh, brick dimensions. OK, so now let's go back here. I think this was the exterior view. There we go. So we have one of these. And now I'm just going to repeat this entire process for the second one. So I'm just going to be doing this a bit quicker. So let's go here to extrusion, rectangle, and then let's go like this. Hit the escape key a few times. So then you just want to make sure that the height is set to 60. You can also lock this in place. So for example, place it there. Oops. Okay, here I can lock this in place here. And then I can just make this dimension and lock it there. Okay. Uh, now here for these sides, again, let's go to dimension, go from the center, left, right, place it here, EQ, then go from the center off to the side, place it there, select that side and set it to 125. Yeah, that's correct. And then select that 125 and then lock that in place. Uh, finally, here it's going to repeat the same dimensions for extrusion start and end because that's what it remembers from the previous one, which is correct. So let's just hit finish and there we go. So now we have these two bricks and by changing the size of the panel, you can kind of control the overlap of those bricks, but you cannot stretch the bricks, which is kind of the most important part of these types of walls because you actually want it to be smart. Okay, uh, finally, uh, let's just add materials. So what I'll do here is I wanna show you another trick. So if I go here to material and then let's, uh, let's search for brick. Uh, so what you'll notice here is for all brick materials, it's actually like a brick wall. We don't have like a single brick material or just a, that kind of masonry texture. So I don't like that. I actually want to have uh, uh, just a, a, a brick color, uh, not the uh, material with all of the little individual bricks. So you can actually achieve this by first, let's load that into our uh, uh, Kind of project materials. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll go here to use render appearance and then I'm just going to check that on. So it's going to basically find kind of the middle color for this and apply it here. So then what you want to do is you just want to remember these uh, numbers or actually I'm just going to write those down. So here we have 130, we have 72 and then we have 45. So you want to make sure you write those or remember them. Then you go to appearance uncheck the relief pattern and then here instead of this image you checked color and then here you just write those down. So this was 130, 72 and then 45. And now we have that kind of brick uh, color. Obviously it's not going to be perfect and if you want to create a new material for that I would encourage that. But just to keep it simple for this particular example I'm just going to use this approach. Okay so once we have everything created the next step is just to save these. So go here to save, save it wherever you want. I just call this two bricks family and then I'm going to save it. And finally, you just want to load that into the project. So once you're back here in the Revit project, you wanna go here to wall, click on the wall family uh, tool or the wall tool. Then you wanna choose the exterior glazing because this will give you panels without mullions. And that's exactly what you want in this case. Uh, then you just wanna place a wall segment. So let's, uh, let's make it smaller. Uh, 3.3, okay, perfect. Okay, so once we have this wall segment there in the center, we can go to the 3D view. Uh, it's a little bit too high for my taste, so I'm just going to select it, and then let's make this segment, uh, let's go with 2,000 millimeters. I think it will be more than enough. Okay, so once we have now this in place, you wanna select it, then you wanna go to edit type, and here we have to make some changes. So I'm going to change the horizontal layout to 120, and then the, the vertical grid to, let's go with three, 380 or something like that. 
Okay, then hit apply and it's going to look like this. And also instead of fixed distance, I like to go with maximum spacing for the vertical layout. Don't do this on the horizontal layout because this is going to be fixed at two bricks. So you just want to keep our two brick heights. Uh, but for the vertical grid, you can have a little bit more flex with that overlap of the bricks that happens. Okay, finally, you want to add the uh, brick panel. So you just go here to curtain panel and instead of none, you check the two bricks family and then you hit apply. Okay, and here we go. This actually looks really, really good. So I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. Uh, and uh, what's best about this whole family is the fact that you can now adjust it. So if you go here into edit type, you can change this from 380 to 400, hit apply, and it should stretch it. Okay, it didn't, let's try. 500 so it's really going to depend okay there we go so let's try 450 there we go so you can kind of play around with the spacing here and then depending on the length of the wall it's going to adjust uh, now here with the height here we have an issue with that one brick layer on top so what you can always do with these is you can select one of them right click and go to select panels along horizontal grid and it's going to select just the entire row of those uh, of those bricks and then you can just unpin those and hit uh, delete or remove them by changing this to oops not solid uh, by uh, to changing it to empty and then it's going to look like this so now you have kind of the, the correct uh, look and then also for uh, this you don't have to keep it as just a straight wall you can always go here to wall and then yeah that's exterior glazing you can create an arc for example like so uh, and then you can kind of play okay this this is way too tall but you get the point and then the best part or what I uh, like most about this is you can always adjust it so for example let's uh, drop that down to 380 for kind of a uh, more exaggerated overlap there we go we can go even smaller so let's try 320 Let's see what that would look like. Yeah, so uh, you can play around with this. I actually prefer the 400 millimeter uh, distance just in terms of the spacing and everything, but there we go. So that's how you can uh, create this really cool brick screens inside of Revit. Uh, now, if you want to get this Revit project file, you can find it on my Patreon page, which I'm going to link to just below this video in the description, and then also up in the cards above. That's where I leave the project files for all of my uh, uh, Revit tutorials. I've got over 500 files so far, so if you're interested in those, Check them out there.